guys, welcome to Broke Boys Manifesto. Um, if you're wondering what torture test you just watched there, that was me torture testing the Sealy Wolf. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to go check that video out as well. Today we are going to be comparing two very um, budget-friendly companies that both make red dots. One of them is the Predator V4 made by Tacticon. And then uh, this ice is about to break off, so I'm trying to be very gentle. We're going to be comparing that to the Sealy Ghost. This is made by Sealy, of course. And yeah, really today we're just going to run them through pretty much the same test you just watched. Um, everything's a little bit different today because, uh, yeah, I did the old flip it upside down and freeze your red dot in Tupperware. These were both in the freezer for probably 12 or 13 hours or so. So um, first thing we're going to do is going to break these out of the ice and see if both red dots are still functioning. First up, we got the Tacticon Predator V4. Alrighty then. It's pretty cool how that shapes inside the glass there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, she is foggy. Let me... I do not see a dot. Definitely do not see a dot. Oh, there we go. Yeah, she was just a little dark. Yeah, Predator V4 is still operating like advertised. This can be hard to get sometimes, but as you can see, Predator V4 still operational. So we're gonna move on to the Sealy. Next up, we have the Sealy Ghost. Um, this firearm here and this red dot has been one of my everyday carries for the past like two months now. So uh, yeah, I really like them and I'm hoping they survive. Look at this ice is jammed in there. Looks like the front still got a bunch. Let me turn her up. I'm guessing I was running this in some darkness. I'm seeing some scatter effect. What do we got going on here? I think I got too much water in her. Oh, I see the dot. Yeah, definitely a dot in there. She's still cold, so the glass is extremely foggy, but you might still, you might be able to see her. But I might need to clean her off so you guys can see it. I might need to uh, heat these red dots up because as you can see, it's extremely foggy, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see that little red dot moving around in there. Now I have both firearms completely dried off. Um, in order to test zero today, we're gonna to be shooting that blade on the bottom right. We're sitting at about 25 yards here. Um, in between every test, we're pretty much gonna shoot that blade, make sure we still have zero. So yeah, first up, we're gonna do the Predator V4, just so I can show you guys that these things are properly zeroed before we start beating the hell out of them. Predator V4 is obviously sighted in at 25 yards. That target's around the same size as a human. I mean, if I sat in front of it, I'm gonna be much bigger than that blade. So if you're hitting that at 25 yards, you're pretty much still good. Next up, we got the Ghost, Sealy Ghost. Make sure she's sighted in. I missed that one there because I have water on my lens and it like refracted some red there. So I saw a different dot than the actual dot and I used it. But yeah, there's definitely still water inside this. I'll dry it off before we start uh, doing more of this shit. All right, I have some protective gloves on and now we are going to just start beating the shit out of these things for a couple minutes and see if they still hold zero. some solid glass good god well oh looks like we are already having some serious malfunctions with mr tactoweenie sealy so far has held up but those tiny little bangs are already breaking tactoweenie <sighs> not good not good for tacticon so far 
Um, I'm guessing the Sealy could take a lot more abuse though. Let's keep going. Well, Tactoweenie is already failing, but um, last time we torture tested a Sealy, we broke multiple windows. So let's see if Mr. Sealy Ghost can survive up against this rear window here that seems to be awfully strong because I just hit it multiple times and it didn't break. So yeah. That hurt. Daddy got some glass in his finger. Well, I had an awfully large piece of glass go right through that and that, and it did cut me a little bit, but small price to pay for science. Sealy is still working flawlessly. It looks like that glass is a lot weaker than Sealy's glass, so let's keep going. Fucker got me good, dude. I think I'm gonna bleed the fuck out. I might go see if I can find some bandages, and then we're gonna continue beating the shit out of things, but, um... I might need a tetanus shot. All right, guys, I cannot get it to quit bleeding, so I'm just gonna wear gloves the rest of the day, and then you guys do not have to look at it. But the Predator V4 is pretty much on its way out. The glass itself is literally just breaking. I mean, this optic obviously is not very durable whatsoever. The Sealy, though, is running flawlessly. Um, there's some dings on the top there. You probably see that. But other than that, uh, the glass is still in petite condition. So um, I might torture test these a little bit more, and then we're going to test zero. And then we'll move on to see, I guess, uh, I mean, if this is still hanging in there, we'll see if it's waterproof. Not really much of a point at this point. Um, Tacticon's Predator V4 is obviously for children and airsoft guns. Do a couple drop tests here. Predator V4. <laughs> Glass is still there. Getting worse. She's starting to crack a little bit worse. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if I can focus in. Oh yeah. Look at that glass there, boys. All right, let's go to the Sealy. No doubt it's going to be perfectly fine. Yeah, Sealy is still perfectly fine. The dot itself still working and the glass is intact. Windshield, Sealy, Sealy, windshield. You guys are probably like, why the fuck is he still playing with glass? And the Sealy is still operational. Tacticon, windshield, windshield, Tacticon. It's, it's getting so bad, guys. The back of the Tacticon is actually starting to warp. This is kind of sad. I really didn't have much hopes for this red dot going into this. Like before this, me and my camera guy that usually works me, I couldn't get him today because he's like one of the best men at a wedding. But uh, yeah, we both didn't really have much hopes for this. We've never really enjoyed this red dot from the beginning. It kind of just never worked properly from pretty much right out the gate. I mean, it works, but it's just like, it felt like the biggest piece of shit Chinese magnesium bullshit you could possibly buy. It seems more like a wish red dot than it does something you would trust with your life. So I'm kind of afraid to even uh, shoot this with my, uh, this is the Tacticon, kind of afraid to shoot this with my face behind that glass because I've already been cut enough today. So I'll probably just hold it off to the side and we're going to shoot it and see if the glass even still stays in there. Um, it might still hold zero at this point. If, if it stays in there, I'll... I'll shoot it with my face behind it, but let's just shoot it a couple times from the side and see what happens. Somehow that glass is still in there. All right, I kind of want to see if it'll hold zero. Ooh, malfunction dunchy.
undecisive. We'll try that again. All right, testing zero with the Predator V4. I think it's still on. The glass is just probably a little bit off balance here, so it's kind of difficult to use. Definitely think it's still on. Let's try the Sealy Ghost out. I have literally five or four rounds here to try her. Let's try the Sealy Ghost. Uh, my hand is a little bit impeded because my trigger finger has a very stiff band-aid on it, and then this does as well, but I am trying my best. Great big mouth, funky dunchy. Get out of there. Hopefully, I didn't hurt my rails of this gun by beating it. Sealy is hit on. Now, the last part of this test, guys, is just going to be me seeing if the Sealy is still waterproof and the Tacta shit is still functioning so we'll try her out as well series in the water attack the bitch attack the shit these are very nice guns and they make me very depressed to put the lowers in the water so i'm not doing that i just want to see if we have broke a crack or a seal somewhere by beating them That's really all we're testing here and I think this is enough to show whether that happened or not. Both reticles are still functioning properly. As you can see, there is the Predator V4, and on the right is the Sealy Ghost. All right, guys, I just kind of want to run you through the conclusion here today. I got a busy highway behind me, and then I have a mine operation that's going on to my left. So, uh,. Shit might be a little loud. Sorry for that. Um, if you're wondering what kind of guns these are, this is a Grit Grips lower. It's like a Glock 19 Gen 3 lower, pretty much, made by Grit Grips. And then the slide here is Killer Innovations. The barrel is Killer Innovations. And then there is an absolutely phenomenal, durable, high-quality, budget-friendly red dot on top here, multi-reticle, I would like to say. I'm not a shill for Sealy. They do not pay me any money. They do send me these red dots, but if it survives a torture test, like you just saw, there's no reason why I would not promote it on my channel. Um, Tacticon, I have not really worked with much. They, they sent this red dot to me like months ago, and I never really did any content on it because I wasn't really a big fan of it. Me and my camera guy, we both love guns, so we, you know, we chit chat and things like that, but we both just really didn't have much faith in this red dot. From the beginning, I didn't like it for a couple reasons. Um, for one, it does not have a side battery compartment. You have to take it completely off in order to swap the battery, which sits down below it. And then also, it's a multi reticle red dot. That means it has three different reticles you can switch between, but when you switch between them, it's like there's a little mechanical thing in there that's like rotating and all the other red dots it just feels like they work i guess properly this one just kind of like slowly just fades into the next one and it just to me i just didn't have much faith in its reliability for a self-defense situation but obviously as you can see here today um why would you put your money in something that's not even close to as good as something that's quite a bit cheaper and has the same features if not more that are better so i mean would i put my money in a predator v4 over a sealy absolutely not if i'm going to spend this kind of money i'm going to buy a sealy or even a hollow sun you can get for around this price these both are multi-reticle red dots though if that's what you're looking for both of them run for like fifty thousand hours they have eight daytime settings two nighttime settings things like that but there's also the argument that this thing did survive a complete night in the freezer in a block of ice. Um, and then also it is still zeroed after me cracking the glass. And I don't think anyone 
in the real world is doing this kind of abuse to things. With that said, it obviously shaped, you know, I mean, it deformed from, I think, pretty gentle hits against a car, which is, you know, pretty forgiving compared to rocks. So if this did fall out of your holster, things like that, you might end up, you know, you might end up breaking the glass or warping the thin little aluminum this has where this is a pretty beefy Sealy optic. I mean, this is this has been my favorite now after they send it to me. It reminds me a lot of the Sealy Bowl, which is pretty much the same thing, but like twice the size of it. And that's that's a good for, you know, like at the range stuff, but not really for self-defense. This one is like they shrunk it a little bit and then put these beefy guards on here. So your glass is just well protected. But the Sealy Wolf that I tortured in the video I was showing you at the beginning, that thing's not much... I mean, it's not much beefier than this. It might even be smaller than the Tacticon Predator V4, but it's got a lot thicker aluminum, which makes it a lot more durable. So that red dot costs you like $150. So I'm probably not even like, I don't know. I don't know. Tacticon stuff, it's cheap. That's why people go for it. And then I think they claim to be American made. I'm telling you, if their stuff's American made, some of their stuff's decent, but like their flashlight they sent me, I don't even care to do a review on it. That thing's, it's plastic fucking crap. And then this is, it's shit. I mean, in my eyes, the, the fact that this is your only pistol red dot and it's like 250, close to $300, uh, why would you buy it? Why would you buy it? Why, why wouldn't you go buy one that's a single reticle for 150 bucks from Hollow Sun or from Sealy? I just would. I wouldn't put my money in this thing. And if they're American made, I'm, I'm, not very proud to be an American when this is proudly made in China and it is the shit. I mean, these these things. They're highly comparable to Hollow Sun, which is also a Chinese company, but. I mean, RMR, you know, Trigicons, things like that. I would rather put my money in this because I could buy three or four of these or I could buy two of these right here for a Trigicon RMR. So to me, Sealy makes a super budget friendly. Though it's made in China, I don't really give a shit if it's affordable and it is um, durable. You know, it's reliable. You can trust it with your life. I don't care where something's made. Most people don't want to spend an arm and a leg to get a self-defense uh, product. They, they can't afford to do it. They want to get a budget-friendly re uh, red dot, things like that, flashlight, you know. <sighs> Just, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, but um, I will have a discount code and a link to the Sealy Ghost. And then if you guys want to use my discount code through Sealy website, it is BBM10 and you will get 10% off your orders. I'm not chilling for Sealy. They just, I mean, they work. They work and I show you that they're working. So it's like, why would I not promote them? And I don't make much money from that. I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna make from that. I mean, if you bought one of these, I might make a cent off the order. So it's like, it's not, I mean, I'm not buying a house with the fucking money I'm making from Sealy. I don't, I've never even been paid from them, honestly. I don't, I don't know if I've ever even sold one of their red dots, but yeah, I trust it with my life. So I promote it to you guys and I give you guys a discount code mostly to save you guys money, not I usually get discount codes that have no um, have no payback to me. They're usually just for you guys to save, you know, 10% on an order. I like doing that for you guys. Broke Boys Manifesto, not Trust Funder Boys Manifesto. Say it a million times till I die. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next one.